Question 11 from Section 2 of the 2022 Higher Physics Examination of the SQA. A triangular prism of borosilicate glass is placed inside a tank that has clear plastic walls. A ray of monochromatic light passes through the glass prism and exits the plastic tank at point R, as shown. The refractive index of the glass for this light is 1.47 and for 3 marks we have to calculate the angle theta. When we do this question, we know we're going to use Schnell's law, and Schnell's law says that sine of theta, and we'll call it sine theta in the air first, divided by sine theta in the glass, should be equal to the refractive index of the glass N. That's our basic Snell's Law equation. And now we've got to identify what's sine theta in the air and what's sine theta in the glass. Now you can see that the ray of light is approaching in the glass and is leaving the glass. But remember, in optics, we can reverse those rays. So we can have something like this. We can have a ray of light coming from R and striking the boundary at the normal here and being refracted in that direction there. So sine theta will become just simply sine theta, and sine theta in the glass will become 37 degrees. So we have the following, we have sine theta in the air, and we're dividing that by sine theta in the glass, which is sine 37.0 degrees, and that should give us a refractive index of 1.47 for that type of glass. We cross multiply and we get sine theta in the air, is going to equal to 1.47 multiplied by sine of 37 degrees, 37.0 degrees. And we do that in my calculator. We end up with theta A, once we take the inverse of sine for that, is going to be equal to 62.2 degrees. So the angle in which the ray of light leaves the prism is going to be 62.2 degrees. Part B. Calculate the critical angle for the glass for this light. Well, we know from our data sheet, our relationship sheet, that the critical angle is given by this expression here. Sine theta critical is equal to 1 over the refractive index N. So we've got the refractive index, so it's quite a simple job to find the critical angle. It's going to be 1 divided by 1.47. And that's going to give us an answer of 0.680. And if we take the inverse of sine, uh, inverse of 0 0.680 to give us the theta critical. And theta critical comes out to be 42.9 degrees. And that's the answer for our three marks. Question 11 continued, part C. The plastic tank is now filled with the vegetable oil. The refractive index of the vegetable oil for this light is 1.47. Now you can see the diagram there, the monochromatic light enters into the glass tray now, which is filled with vegetable oil, heads towards the glass prism, and we've got to decide where it's going to strike either P, Q, R, S, or even T at the bottom. And we must justify our answer. Now, the first thing we know is that the ray of light comes in, and the ray of light comes in from here, strikes the glass prism here and it's going along the same line as the normal so it's going to remain unchanged so it will pass straight away through and that's already in the diagram there but because the vegetable oil has the same refractive index as the glass prism then no refraction will take place and therefore the ray of light will pass straight through and that's the sort of diagram you're going to get from there you're going to get passing straight through and it's going to strike p we can show you this in a little simulation from ph ET, where we see when we have the surroundings, the same refractive index as the actual prism that the light's going to go through. No refraction will take place if the outside refractive index is the same as refractive index as the prism. We'll see that now. Here's a good simulation of what happens when we change the medium in which the light is going through. I have in front of me here on the screen a prism which is filled with water. And the surrounding the prism, which we call the environment, is air. And if I switch on the laser, you can see that the monochromatic beam of red light is going to be refracted. Because it's going from air and it's going through water and it's going to be refracted and it's going to come out the other side.
But the question we actually have just answered there is what would happen if the environment had the same refractive index as the refractive index of the prism? So in this case, we're going to make the environment water. It's almost like conducting an experiment underwater, and we've got a prism made of water. And I can easily do this by changing the index of refraction uh, in this environment switch up here, slider. So I'm sliding up, and you can see that if I go up to water, bingo. You can see I'm not going to get any refraction because the beam of light is traveling through water. It's entering the prism, which is made up of water. Both are the same refractive index. Therefore, refraction will not take place. Very interesting. The beam will pass straight through. Mm -hmm.